Hi, I'm going to give you some of my top tips today for catnapping. Catnapping is one of the most talked about topics in babies all around. Um, it's one of the biggest problems that my clients have when I speak to them. Um, and anyone you speak to really with a baby, they, all they will talk about is catnapping. So whilst catnapping is quite normal for babies between zero and, you know, four to five months, it's still classed as normal, frustrating, but normal. Um, Anything past beyond four and a half, five months, you can actually try to eliminate some catnapping with the right um, process, tips, um, and tricks. So I'll give you some of my top tips moving forward um, when it comes to trying to eliminate that, the catnap. So dark room, make sure the room is dark, like dark. I have recently done a video on dark room, um, so just have a look at that because that is definitely probably the biggest contributor to um, premature waking or bubs even waking early um, in the morning. So dark room is definitely key. The other piece of the puzzle, as I call it, is white noise. Make sure you're using some white noise and make sure it's turned up quite loud. So again, only recently I have done a video on white noise, so you might want to check that out because that will give you um, an indicator of what noise I recommend, what no how loud it should be, um, and tips on that. Um, I also ensure that bub is warm. We're in, a, in Australia at the moment, it's summer, um, so you know if you are putting bub to bed, uh, make sure they have some type of sleeve on their on their shoulder, just because you know that's generally the first thing that's going to be exposed, and if they're going to wake up at all, it will be because their their shoulders exposed. So, however, if you're on the other side of the world and it's coming into winter, warmth is key. If your bub is not warm enough or doesn't have the right amount of layers on, the chances of them waking early from a nap is is very high. Um, Bearing in mind that babies and toddlers cannot use blankets, so layers is definitely going to be your best option in this scenario. Um, and also timing. Timing is key. If you don't get the timing right, um, you know, you're damned if you do and you're damned if you don't. If you go a little bit too, put them down a little bit too early, they won't sleep. If you put them down a little bit too late, they're overtired, they won't sleep. So every bub has a sweet spot. So you really got to find what your sweet spot is with bub um, and try to put them down around about that time. I have posted recently again about wake windows and what wake windows are appropriate for what age. So you might want to have a look at that as well because that might help. Um, and the biggest contrib contributor to everything and every single client that I have um, is food. You have to ensure your baby is full before they go down for a nap. If your bub is due to, for a feed in the next half an hour or 40 minutes or they're a hungry bub, um, you have to ensure that you've either topped them up with either one side of the breast or 40 to 60 mils of bottle before they go down for that nap. Otherwise, they won't sleep. They'll wake up prematurely because they're genuinely hungry. So that is definitely my biggest tip amongst all of that is to ensure that they're full. So if bub's probably past six months of age, you might want to increase solids. Because um, babies and toddlers are very good at controlling their own calories. So that means the more calories they have during the day, the less they need at night. Um, and that will also um, lengthen naps as well. When they're, you know, full, content for longer, they will sleep better. So um, that's definitely my top tips. And then obviously, just before you take bub into the bedroom, spend about five or seven minutes winding them down. Have the room dark, have the white noise on, put them in their little zippy, um, swaddle them if you need to, read a little story if you want. Just spend about five minutes winding down because even us as adults, we don't just go to bed and switch off and go to sleep and either do babies. So they definitely need a little bit of wind down time um, and that should help when it comes to the settling process and, and getting that good nap in. So I hope those top tips help. Um,